And welcome to Pacific Partnerships in Education here on ThinkTech Hawaii. I'm your host, Ethan Allen. Thank you for joining us today. Here in the ThinkTech studios, I, I have with me uh, three charming young ladies, uh, Arsena Moore, Moore, excuse me, uh, Joanne Lorek, and Gloria Lani. And we are going to talk about Marshley's Education Day. Uh, and th these, they're all members of the Marshley's Education Day Committee, which is planning this, this uh, celebration. So people probably, not everyone probably knows what Marshley's Education Day is. Uh, maybe, Lori, do you want to start tell us a little bit about what, what it is and how it came to being? Right. Um, thank you. The Marshall's Education Day, Ethan, is an um, annual event that draws bringing honor students to the event to be recognized for their academic achievement. Um, students in the um, middle school to high school students who have achieved 3.0 and above the GPA um, are to be recognized and given the acknowledge um, for their for their academic achievement. And it is also an event to bring in families, parents. Um, this is to raise awareness of parent involvement. And it is the reason why this event has been, um, been out there for how many years? 12 years now, since 2008. And we are so excited. We're going to have another one um, this year. Um, on? Another right. on April, April 27th. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes. And in that event is not just for the honor students award ceremony and the parent involvement, but it's also to bring in service providers. And these service providers are to share their program services to the community, the Marshallese community as well. So would, these, would these be many education service providers, or are these social service agencies, or mix? We have both. Okay. Yes, uh, the 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 focus of the day is largely educational. But um, in order to be able to support families in that role, we also feel that there are other social services that can um, offer um, services to the Marshallese community and be able to help them. You know, so that they can can uh, focus and help students education on, on their education. So. Right, because there's a fair number of Marshallese who have shown up here relatively recently. Uh, they, don't, they may have come from fairly remote islands. They don't really may not understand all how a city like Honolulu works yeah. mm -hmm. uh, and need some assistance in figuring out how to access bank accounts. Uh, whatever, driver's yes. licenses. You know, yeah, exactly. All things that we should take for granted living here. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That, that's great. That's great. And I know there's, there's a, a great deal of, of interest in this, and it, it's wonderful to, to hear that the, you're, you're trying to get the parents and family support in that. That's, that's a very valuable part of it. So, uh, and you say this has been going for 12 years now. That's great. About how many people are you expecting? Yeah, usually uh, in the beginning we got 200 people, but um, lately we've been the number has been increased to um, 700, 800 attendees. Wow. Oh, excellent. So that's and wonderful. It's, a, it's mm -hmm. a half day event or all day event? It, is, it starts at 8 a.m. and ends about 3 p.m. So oh. it's most of the day. Yeah, excellent, yeah. excellent. Mm -hmm. So and where, where is it being held this year? It is being held at the Harris Methodist Church at the corner of New Anu and Vineyard. Oh, okay. yeah. there we go. Good, good job. That's, yeah, 20 South Vineyard. Okay. So uh, over the years, you, you've had, you, you honor these students, and presumably you have uh, Marshallese young people who have been successful in education, who have gone on, maybe, and gone to college. They give talks. Mm -hmm. uh, you run little breakout sessions. Um, yes, so we, uh, as part of the program, we have sessions where we break out um, students that are in middle school, high school, from Keiki, for instance, and from parents. We try to focus on the areas that are, you know, specifically in need for those, uh, you know, for those people. Um, and we also, because we, this is our 12th year having it, we have had students that go on to college and we try to bring them back and we try to feature, you know, some of the stuff that you as a middle school, a high school student, this is what you have to look forward to as college, in college. So we bring them back and, you know, share some of their stories and, you know, help, help them out. 
Excellent. This actually sounds a, a bit like the Micronesian Youth Summit. I had some folks a few weeks ago talking about the Micronesian Youth Summit just, just after it happened. Uh, do you guys collaborate at all? Uh, so we, uh, yeah, we have, we've all set up um, booths at the event, oh, okay. but they are, I think, the th third or fourth year. Right. We were in our twelfth uh, year, and I think, um, you know, I would like to think that we inspired some of what happened <laughs> at, 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 at the Michael <laughs> Yeah, because yeah, it, 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 they do sort of breakout sessions. They do um, service providers, and they do um, a main event as well. So sort of similar program. Um, but theirs is to all Micronesian students and not just to Marshallese. Right. Ours is focused on Marshallese students. Yes. So yeah, uh, and for those who don't understand, the uh, sometimes the term Micronesia is used to encompass the Marshall Islands out through Palau, mm. and other times Micronesia is supposed to be focused just on the Federated States of Micronesia. Right. right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, but the Marshalls are, of course, their own country and yeah, part separate. of the larger right. yeah. Micronesian <laughs> area. Right, yes. Right. And uh, about how many Micronesian uh, migrants are here in Hawaii these days? Do you have a Do idea? You know? Uh, I think Micronesian the, or Marshallese. Marshallese, or, sorry, I mean. Oh, the Marshallese only focus on Marshallese. I'm assuming, uh, I think in 2006, if I may correct, uh, there were like 8,000. Oh, okay. okay so yeah, it's, but it's, the number has doubled. It's, yeah, it's yeah. grown from that. Yeah. And of course, there was concern given the uh, impending changes in the Compact of Free Association that there's going to be might be further migration of a fairly substantial nature after 2023, right? Uh, I, I do think there is a little bit of uncertainty about what the mm. status is going to be, right. which might result in um, some people moving out. But I think even bigger than that is, you know, economic issues, health issues, educational issues. There's definitely more opportunities um, here in Hawaii and in the States, obviously. So people, I think, are striving for that. And, of course, we also have... Uh, climate change issues. Right. There's just a lot of challenges. Right. So, so. It, it's it's got to be a tough thing. You, you have a, a culture, thousands of years there, or a very rich culture, uh, different multiple cultures rely on the multiple different atolls. I'm sure. Uh, but yes, as you note, with climate change, uh, increasingly the king tides sweep from side to side on some of the atolls, or making it very hard to grow grow food there. Um, yes, and. Um, specifically to the Marshall Islands, we are um, a, an, a country of just atolls, right. so we're low-lying, uh, we're made up of coral, so we have, I think, those, some of those issues are much more mag you know, magnified in our situation as opposed to other parts of Micronesia that are, you know, have fertile soil, have mountains, um, right. we unfortunately don't have. Right, it's, it's a real challenge yes. for uh, the Marshall Islands in particular, along with Kiros, the Maldives, yes. all, all their yep. low-lying low -lying coral uh, atolls. Mm -hmm. Right. I know in Kiribati, apparently, they are, the government is actually buying old oil rigs and, and anchoring them in, their, in some of their lagoons so that when their lagoons become uninhabitable, they can still keep a population there and lay continuing yeah. claims to the nation because it raises an interesting point, right? When the, if your nation literally goes underwater and no longer exists as a landmass, mm -hmm. do you... What, yeah. what is your legal status anymore in the, in the UN? So, yeah, yeah fascinating, fascinating. And that's why your students need to be educated, right? Yeah, of course. All kinds of yeah. interesting challenges. Of course. And I think also here in Hawaii, we've heard a lot of people talk about the challenges in dealing with um, uh, Micronesians. And so we wanted to be able to try to be part of the solution. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. for example, truancy was, a, was um, raised as an issue in the Marshallese community, and we wanted to be able to bring parents in and you know, sort of educate them on the importance of being involved in your students' education, making sure they go to school, uh, you know. So, we, yeah, we just wanted to be part of the solution. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and that was the real, like, the main uh, focus on why uh, we decided to create this event to make sure that the parents are involved with the students and kind of understand, of, of course, we know that the students are having challenges too, so they should understand those and they should understand the uh, U.S. Um, uh, laws, school systems yeah. and laws and all of that, their rights as, you know. Right, because I, you know, there's a, a huge cultural difference, right? If you're on a small outer island in, in the Marshalls with a few dozen to a few hundred people who yeah. families have known each other for generations, mm -hmm. Schools sort of 
less uh, priority, right? Everyone sort of understands, well, maybe it's not happening today, no biggie, you know? Mm -hmm. and, yeah, and, um, you know, a lot of them uh, survive through subsistence living, right. so education doesn't right. bring food to the table. Mm -hmm. um, right, it's much more so. learning from their parents mm -hmm. and exactly. their uncles and aunts and cousins about yep. what needed to be done. And, exactly. Yeah. Sharing their responsibility. And so they don't <laughs> necessarily understand when they come to the U.S. that school attendance is expected and mandated, and if you mm -hmm. don't do it, you actually are... And trouble. one of the resources uh, providers that are invited to come in are the, like, uh, about the college programs, um, Gear Up Hawaii or Three Ps program at the UH, where families, parents, and students can not just think that, okay, if I graduate from high school, that's it. But we're saying, okay, this is not it. There's a lot more that you can do. And, you know, there, here are some potential in resources for you. Yeah. So. These are very great partners. Like, they've been partnered with us from the beginning, and that what makes the, I guess, the program successful, because then it allows the students and the parents to know that there's these resources out there, and they can always. So that's where, uh, I guess, the motivation, the values, and the inspiration comes from for me as a volunteer yeah. to keep mm -hmm. continuing to do this yeah. you know, partnering yeah. with all these and we did a survey we asked parents at, at one of the events remember mm -hmm. ladies and we asked on the survey what was the reason why you came to hawaii and it was education uh -huh. and so that really like okay so this is a priority for mm -hmm. these you know our community mm -hmm. Besides coming to see doctors, education is like their top priority. Mm -hmm. That's so we. So your your present hold behind you is a is a good example, right? Yes. With her, yeah. her PhD and uh, exactly. first PhD, Very nice. is, uh, first woman PhD from the Marshalls, and mm -hmm. uh, also former Prell staff member. <laughs> my little plug. Yeah. Uh, one, yeah. Wonderful person do, doing great stuff there. Um, so, but it, but it's good then you have you do have some role models of various sorts of. People, uh, Marshall mm -hmm. who have gone on into higher education and, mm -hmm. and can talk about the value mm -hmm. of this and what it's meant to them and how it's helped them and their these lives are, and their families. Mm -hmm. Sorry, these are the kind of people that we make sure that they come back again and again to inspire the student, to talk to the students, to talk to the parents, the community, and, and of course. <laughs> yeah. Because it must, it must be very discouraging, particularly for some new students come here and, and mm -hmm. they're not understanding the language, they realize they're not academically sort of on, on a par with their, their age group. Of, other students here, they, they're not, they don't know English as well, they don't read as well, they don't maybe have science background that's strong. Mm -hmm. So it's got to be very discouraging, and, and that can lead, of course, to a bad cycle of bad behavior in mm -hmm. school and dropping out, and mm -hmm. you don't want that. You want to encourage them and say, exactly. you mm -hmm. can stay in, you can, you can catch up, you can succeed. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and so that's why we, uh, you know, we have the, the ceremony where we recognize their achievements, because we want you know, students who haven't done as well in school to see it's possible to do so. Right. Even when you sort of come in as a late bloomer, you're mm -hmm. sort of behind, you right. can catch up. Um, so, you know, it's just meant to encourage the students and the parents um, to, you know, really just try to just stick in there and it'll happen. <laughs> Absolutely. No, no. It, it's actually, it's a, it's a message that's very in line with, with current thinking about intelligence and, and what it's called a dynamic mindset. And realizing that intelligence is not some fixed quantity that you were born with. It's a, a trait that you cultivate. And if you sort of learn how to learn, you keep learning all your life and you sort of become smarter and smarter over your life. And if you encourage people to continue to stay in school and, and uh, you know, broaden their horizons, expand their knowledge bases, stay mm -hmm. curious, they'll, they'll continue to learn and succeed, even if, yes, even if they're starting out a little behind their peers, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the goal, yeah. so mm -hmm. hopefully we're making a difference on it. So. Absolutely, absolutely. No, no, it's really wonderful you're doing this. I think it's, it's a wonderful event, and uh, we are going to talk more about maybe specifically what's coming up in, in this year's event, uh, but we're going to take a short break first. Uh, Gloria, Joanne, and Arsima uh, are with me here today in the Think Tech studio. Uh, we're talking about Marshley's Education Day, which is April 27th this year. We'll put that down on your calendars, and we'll be back in one minute. Aloha. This is Winston Welch. I am your host of Out and About, where every other week, Mondays at 3, we explore a variety of topics in our city, state, nation, and world, and uh, events, organizations, the people that fuel them. It's a really interesting show. 
We welcome you to tune in and we welcome your suggestions for shows. Um, you got a lot of them out there and we have an awesome uh, studio here where we can get your ideas out as well. So I look forward to you tuning in every other week where we've got some great guests and great topics. You're going to learn a lot. You're going to come away inspired like I do. So I'll see you every other week here at three o'clock on Monday afternoon. Aloha. <laughs> Hey, aloha. My name is Andrew Lanning. I'm the host of Security Matters Hawaii, airing every Wednesday here on Think Tech Hawaii, live from the studios. I'll bring you guests. I'll bring you information about the things in security that matter to keeping you safe, your coworkers safe, your family safe, to keep our community safe. Uh, we want to teach you about those things in our industry that, you know, may be a little outside of your experience. So please join me because security matters. Aloha. And uh, thanks for coming back here to uh, Think Tech Hawaii and joining us for the second half of Pacific Partnerships in Education. And we're talking about Marshallese Education Day with Arsima, uh, Joanne, and Gloria, who are all members of the Marshallese Education Day Committee and are helping to plan this wonderful event this year on April 27th at the church. Harris Methodist Church. Harris Methodist Church and Vineyard and Nuan yes. Nuanu. All right, yes. excellent. And so, Let's talk about what, what's going what's to sort of be on the, the program that, uh, coming up here. Um, it starts early in the morning. Sure, it starts early in the morning. It starts at 8 a.m. registration. Okay. It starts at 8 a.m. And then we have breakout sessions starting at 9. Uh, for, uh, for the parents section, we have Gear Up and uh, Pacifica Passion Pacifica Pipeline. Passion Pipeline yeah. uh, they're going to be talking to the parents about some of the opportunities at UH okay. uh, specifically. Um, and then we at the student session, we have Joanne uh, and um, one of our other volunteers, Tamara, who are going to be talking actually some of about um, some of our culture and mm -hmm. sort of, you know, because some of these yo younger students have mostly grown up here. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to be able to get them to relate to, um, you know, kind of know their where own, they're yeah. coming from. Mm -hmm. we, so that, culture, that's a very so. also important thing Absolutely. to know. Mm -hmm. yeah. So part of. Um, every now and then, uh, during the sessions, we would make sure that somebody from the culture would come and talk about that, or we would like do something like a presentation that would allow the students to understand their roles as you know, Marshallese, making sure that they don't forget who they are. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And then uh, after our session, we have our main ceremony um, where we do where we honor the students. Um, when we first started the program, I think we had about 20 students that we, we recognized. I think there's over 50. It, it's, sure. it's been sort of growing. Mm -hmm. um, and we have, so uh, we, in terms of speakers, we have someone from our, um, uh, our culture, someone, like, someone representing our culture. So we have, we're s uh, still, um, you know, Really yeah, yeah. Black, a chief, a right chief <laughs> um, speaking, and then we have um, uh, a former student who is an honor student coming in to speak, and then we have, um, I, won't, and I apologize if I misspeak her name, but it's like Louise Pacara, yeah, from, who, uh, from KCC, mm -hmm. she's a chancellor, vice chancellor, chancellor or something, vice -chancellor. Um, and she did her PhD thesis on Marshallese, oh. so she's going to be coming to speak okay. about um, the importance of being, you know, being able to speak more speak than your language. language and, so, yeah. yeah, so we're very excited about that. Yeah, no, it sounds like a wonderful program. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. And that's, that's I mean, that's a tremendous point. It's uh, more and more uh, people recognizing the value of being bilingual. Uh, mm -hmm. yes. And how it's pretty valuable if you can instill very young in childhood uh, bilingualism, have yeah. children learning two languages at once. That, that really actually does their brains a lot of good. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. very... yeah something that we've noticed recently is that, um, you know, this is our 12th year having the event, and more and more students are speaking uh, mostly English and not Marshallese, so we really wanted to be able to make sure that we also incorporate some of our culture into um, into Absolutely. the program. Absolutely. Certainly the language shouldn't be lost. The yeah. cultural knowledge, you have tremendous uh, knowledge. It, recently, it's come out that the, uh, for instance, the uh, stick charts, the classic navigational yes. aids, 
these are based on, on, on a very actual mm -hmm. uh, current Cars, flows. Yes. And, and, yeah, yes. yeah, yes. uh, which were not recognized for a long time. Yeah. But, yeah. but the Marshallese centuries ago discovered that you could, they could, by, almost by feel, really, right. more than mm -hmm. anything else, yeah. uh, pick up these particular currents that would give them a clue as to where they, uh, a good clue as to where they, where they were actually yes. sailing. Yeah, I mean, we, um, we decorate with these things, but these are actually right. functional, um, right. and mm -hmm. they're a result of, you know, historical knowledge. So we want to, you know, yeah. uh, help um, instill, you know, a sense of pride in our culture as well. Exactly. I mean, it's actually, if you read the uh, early European explorers were, were marveled at the, at the speed and, and maneuverability of the Marshallese canoes. And they had, they had nothing yeah. like it. Their, their ships were big and <laughs> yes. slow and yeah. larger compared to the Marshallese who could run circles around them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's I, definitely mm -hmm. resurgence yeah. of, of that as well. Yeah. I would also like to add to the fact that because, you know, on social media and there's a lot of discrimination against Micronesian and Marshallese, of course, that's part of why we, we really wanted the students to understand that, hey, you don't, you don't have anything to be shameful of. You came from, a, you know, from your own, your country has also have their own values and these are very important values that we want to make sure that the kids understand and know so they're not ashamed of, you know, being right. Marshallese. Yeah. Right, now this is something Hawaii has a rather bad history of is whoever the latest immigrant group is, Hawaii tends to disparage them, blame them for troubles. Mm, yeah. Call them the, the cause of most of their problems, yeah. and it, it's <laughs> you know. But these cultures then get become a valued part of Hawaii yeah. and, and contribute uh, richness to the rich mm -hmm. fabric that we have here. So mm -hmm. it's 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 great to see that the Marshallese are, are building building their own their own contributions to that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I would just like to add that we're all volunteers. We all work mm -hmm. you know full time mm -hmm. jobs, but we do this on the side because we want to be able you know mm -hmm. make sure you know. Our, our Marshallese, um, you know, community is successful, and you, you know, some even some of the new ones that are, you know, just sort of learning the system here. It is a different system, but we want to make sure they they know what they're getting themselves into and they're successful. Um, it's it's definitely possible. We've seen um, definitely tons of uh, mm -hmm. people going to school, graduating, um, you know, being contributing members of society. So um, excellent, and actually, that brings up a good point because. Because you're all volunteers, this event, putting on this event, obviously takes time, energy, and involves a certain mm -hmm. amount of expense. Yes. You, you um, said, I think, that challenge. people can still contribute to. Yes. Yep. Uh, so uh, on our, I, I think, on our flyer, yes, uh, we have our our Facebook page on there. Mm -hmm. It also has a um, a link to a GoFundMe page that we've mm -hmm. set up. Um, so yeah, we, and we're certainly taking donations. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> anything any, you know, it, we're grateful for anything. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, events like this need, need yeah. uh, broad support and should, are certainly worthy of broad yeah. support. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's great. We, we, we push that and urge all of our viewers to, to support this thoroughly. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Uh, so, what, where do you where do you see this going? Do you think? I mean, is Marshley's Education Day is obviously going to continue. You have plans. If you've done it for 12 years, you're obviously going to keep going in the future. Uh, you want to see it growing? Well, from the beginning, I think one of the very highlight of this uh, event is we've always do, um, we try to raise funds for the event. I mean, there's, there would be only 10, 12 people, but we try to raise funds on our own by doing garage sales, and then we would do, like, very minimal um, ways like anything that would bring in money we do that but we even sell our used handicrafts just to make sure that we get something mm -hmm. and this year we just got our 501c3 and that's a really good thing <laughs> now we now we have our hopes that there's more that we can do instead of just doing the Marshallese education day we've also talked about other things like yeah, I mean, it's it's a one-day event. We've held it for 12 years, but we also, um, throughout the years, we've held other events. Um, like, for example, <coughs> we've um, had events where we teach parents, just a, just for parents, how to t read the report card. You know, mm -hmm. just sort of these really small things, but we want to be able to follow the students beyond just the, the one-day event that we do. We want to be able to follow them through college, make sure they're, you know, still continuing. Provide a information track. on neonatal yeah. care, for instance, mm -hmm. or a very yeah. valuable thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I haven't realized you. So you have a group now that's a 501c3, a nonprofit yes. organization, which yes. gives you a great deal of, of 
for access now, you can, you can go out and apply yeah. for funds from mm -hmm. people and all. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. I, I, We're hopeful. Yes. <laughs> I, uh, we also uh, have had um, parents who in the past never attended um, school functions, school events, parent-teacher conferences. After mm -hmm. our event, we've seen a lot of um, our parents attending the events, and we hope that this will continue, parent involvement yeah. involving in their children's yeah. academic achievement and education. Absolutely. That, that's one of the things that, that's uh, proven pretty true across the, the main mm -hmm. uh, all of U.S. It, is sort of the greater the parent involvement, the more successful their kids are, basically. Yeah. Um, yeah. It can be carried a little too far, as the recent college scandals have shown, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you're not creating that level of parent no. involvement. <laughs> no. <laughs> but uh, no, having, having the parents supportive of education, understanding mm -hmm. what, what the education system wants, and can bring, but what they have to their responsibility too to help yeah. ensure their their child does show up, shows up prepared, ready to study, has a place, mm -hmm. home to study, to, to learn, gets the mm -hmm. gets the support and backing of their parents when they take on school projects, science fair projects. What happened? What are you right? That's mm -hmm. yeah. I, I mean, we we want to be able to provide resources for parents, mm -hmm. and we've we've actually reached out to schools because mm -hmm. they've been having difficulties in communicating with parents or reaching out to parents. So we've offered our you know, our, our help in that. So just, you know, we believe in the importance of education, so mm -hmm. uh, we want to be able to support that in any way, and not just our one-day event. Excellent, excellent. So if you each, I'll give you each about 30 seconds to, to talk to, to uh, <laughs> viewers and tell, tell the pretty young viewers what, what's important. What, why, young why viewers. <laughs> hey, young viewers, <laughs> Marshallese, English. Either, either. Um, <laughs> please come and join our coming event. We're taking report cards right now, so mm -hmm. make sure you send those report cards, okay, to Marshallese Education Day Committee at gmail.com or just call what number again on the flyer? <laughs> call us. Information's on the flyer. And we need volunteers, so please yes. come, come, come. We're always hey, looking you for stole volunteers. My thing. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> we definitely, it, it's, there's like a, a group of like less than a, 10 of us, so we put on this event. Definitely use all the help we can get. So. Oh, well, that's, you guys deserve uh, many commendations for, for doing that. I know that I've, I've done enough special event things to understand <laughs> it's a huge task, and the more people that get involved, the better in general. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's a lot to do. It's, it's wonderful that you're doing that, um, and, and it's, it's, uh, you're, you're doing a huge service not only to your community, but to, to for the Hawaii as a whole. You know, mm -hmm. you're, really, you're, help, you're helping yeah. raise the recognition that the Marshallese have a lot to contribute, a lot to bring here. Our, are being contributing members of the culture and are uh, being a positive mm -hmm. influence here. Well, well, excellent. This has been this has been wonderful. I, I've, I'm very much more enlightened now about Marshall's <laughs> Education Day, so I, I very much appreciate uh, <coughs> our, our senior Miller, uh, John Lurick, and Gloria Lani. I appreciate you all coming in here. Thank you. And Thank you very much for having us here on Pacific Partnerships in Education, and I hope. Uh, our viewers will come back and join us on our next episodes of the show. Uh, until then, I'm your host, Ethan Allen, signing off from Think Tech Hawaii.